like a modern day mad scientist movie with a twist. Hey everybody, welcome to Mainly Movies. As part of my coverage of the 2023 Sundance Film Festival, today I'm going to be talking about the 2023 thriller drama Birth Rebirth, which will be released in theaters and on Shudder on August 18th. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for a variety of movie-related content like reviews, rank lists, and trailer reactions. All my reviews include a breakdown of the pros and cons, my rating, and some tailored film recommendations, so be sure to watch through to the end of this video for all of that extra content. Birth Rebirth stars Marin Ireland, Judy Reyes, and AJ Lister, and was directed by Laura Moss. It tells the story of a very clinical pathologist and a compassionate Nick U nurse who find themselves bound together following the reanimation of a young girl. Familiarity can be a bit of a double-edged sword when it comes to film. In general, people are drawn to things they know. There's a bit of comfort there, but also a sense of already knowing what you like. But if something is too familiar, it runs the risk of becoming boring. So movies that utilize a familiar premise or are based on a popular story can find themselves in a bit of a tricky spot. A brief glance at the premise of Birth Rebirth or a quick watch of the trailer is sure to instantly conjure thoughts of other similar stories. And those thoughts are very valid and warranted, but these familiar aspects aren't all that this film is. Birth Rebirth was my second favorite movie at Sundance this year, and it's, perhaps confusingly, both exactly what you expect it to be, but also quite different. With its resurrection-based story, this film has the defying death plotline you probably anticipate, but it's not really a horror movie. Now, I realize that might sound weird. I mean, we're talking about a modern-day mad scientist type story here that involves some pretty dark stuff. You think about Frankenstein, and likely the first genre that comes to mind is horror. But like Frankenstein and countless other reanimation stories before this one, there's much more to the story than just ghoulishly bringing somebody back from the dead. Birth Rebirth certainly has some horrific moments, and it's a frequently gory film, but I would personally consider this to be more of a medical drama thriller than a traditional horror movie. It's a very clinical, experimental tale. Not in an experimental film way, but rather a movie about scientific experimentation. It's pseudoscience, with a dash of sci-fi, mind you, but the slow burn, methodical, stepwise approach to the experiment at the heart of the story makes it all feel a bit more feasible and real than it probably otherwise would have. So there is a very clinical approach to the experiment here, but this is not a cold, sterile story. Instead, there's actually a lot of heart and emotion packed into this film, largely thanks to the two leading performances. This story is centered around two very different characters. On one hand, we've got Marin Ireland's Rose, a driven and very literal-minded hospital pathologist who's very awkward around living people. On the other hand, we've got Judy Reyes's Celie, a warm and compassionate NICU nurse who's just suffered a traumatic loss. These two characters are on completely opposite ends of the personality spectrum, but are thrown together in this situation. So we, as the audience, end up seeing the scenario from two differing perspectives. It's both a clinical, scientific study, but also an emotional, grief-stricken reach of desperation. And over the course of the film, we, and the characters, see that there's a lot more commonality there than initially meets the eye. This unique pairing offers up some thought-provoking moral questions, but also adds a bit of unexpected levity to the story, as an odd couple-type relationship develops between these two women. Birth Rebirth takes a familiar premise, but uses it to explore some different ideas. Sure, the classic ethical conundrum revolving around mortality and defying death is still present here. The familiar moral questions of whether or not scientific advancements should be made just because we're capable of making them pops up here too, but the story's themes go beyond that. By using two dichotomous characters, it explores human nature and the extreme lengths that people are willing to go for science, for their children, for the pursuit of fulfilling their self-perceived purpose. It examines topics as wide-ranging as grief, parenthood, and scientific curiosity, all from a female perspective. The Frankenstein comparisons are going to be inevitable, but the story really brings everything full circle, right back to Mary Shelley. It pulls the subtext of that story to the forefront, adding an unmistakable female twist to the premise and allowing us to witness the new trajectory that the story takes as a result. Alright, let's talk about the pros and cons. 
Pro number one has got to be the performances. This film has an interesting premise and a solid script, but it's the performances that really elevate it. Seven-year-old AJ Lister does a great job as Leela, but it's the two leads that really stand out here. Marin Ireland is equal parts disturbing and funny as the awkward, clinical-minded pathologist conducting the film's central experiment, and Judy Reyes brings the counterbalancing emotion and empathy necessary to make the drama of the story hit. Both performances are excellent on their own, but it's the combination of these characters and their surprising chemistry that really solidifies things here. The second pro is the tone. So this is something that I suspect may actually end up on the con side for some people, but it's solidly a pro for me. This has its roots in classic monster storytelling and has some horrific elements to it, but it blends that together with a grief-driven emotional story and a very science-forward plot. As a biologist, I often find myself drawn to stories about science, and I really appreciate it when a movie can make its pseudoscience somewhat believable. So a clinical film that takes us stepwise through the scientific method and experimental process is something that really appeals to me, but I can see how some people might be bored by the slow burn and medical jargon. And while I also really enjoyed the unexpected moments of comedy, especially between the two leads, I'm sure some people will find the levity to be in bad taste for this particular story. On the con side, my only issues are really just minor nitpicks. Although I do like the tone and clinical approach here, I wish it would have taken its creepy, horrific elements a little further. Don't get me wrong, this film certainly pushes some limits and is sure to upset some people, but it could have leaned into to its horror roots a tiny bit more, especially given the film's marketing. This also ties into the movie's sense of familiarity a bit. Like I said in the meat of the actual review, familiarity is a double-edged sword when it comes to film, and while this movie does take a different approach than other similar resurrection stories, it's never able to fully get clear of its inspirations, or the expectations and predictability that come along with them. Before I give you my rating and recommendations, I want to remind you that if you're interested in buying Birth Rebirth or any of the other films I mentioned today, I do have affiliate links for all of them in the description below. I get a small commission from anything you buy using one of my links, so I'd really appreciate it if you'd use them if you're in the market for any of these movies. I'm going to give Birth Rebirth Four out of five paws. This is a compelling and, at times, disturbing medical thriller driven by a pair of excellent performances. Its base premise is similar to a number of other films, but this takes a more clinical approach to its story, while still exploring grief, parenthood, and fulfillment of purpose. I would recommend Birth Rebirth to people looking for a gory and thought-provoking thriller. This movie is high on atmosphere and thematic takeaways, but it's definitely a bit of a slow burn. Even though it has some creepy moments and an ostensibly horror plot, this is not a traditional horror movie. So if you come into the film looking for scares, you'll probably leave a bit disappointed. If you liked Birth Rebirth, I would recommend Pet Cemetery. This Stephen King story is another dark tale that explores a parent's grief, the unexpected lengths that they're willing to go, and the consequences of their dangerous actions. This resurrection story is rooted in the supernatural rather than scientific experimentation, but it addresses many of the same themes. If you want another modern-day mad scientist story, you might want to check out Reanimator. Loosely based on an H.P. Lovecraft story, this campy comedy horror focuses on a med student who develops a serum that can reanimate dead bodies. It's a very bloody and strange tale that lacks a strong emotional core, but possesses many similar plot and character elements. And if you'd like a classic story of using science to defy death, you should watch the 1931 Frankenstein. A clear inspiration for Birth Rebirth, this film uses a macabre story of reanimation to explore very real elements of human nature and society. All right, a couple questions for you guys. Number one, have you seen Birth Rebirth? If so, what'd you think of it? And number two, what's your favorite movie about a medical experiment? Be sure to leave your answers in the comments below so we can get a discussion going. All right, so if you got some enjoyment, insight, or information on this review, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe or add it to see more videos like this. Till next time, this has been Alyssa with Mainly Movies, the way life should be.